Welcome to Kingdom Reality, your gateway to deep insights into the truths and realities of God's kingdom. Dive deep into the teachings of esteemed teachers of God's Word as they illuminate the mysteries of Scripture, offering priceless wisdom and revelations. Our channel serves as a beacon of enlightenment, guiding seekers on a transformative journey towards understanding the essence of divine truth and purpose. Join us as we explore the depths of spiritual reality and embark on a quest for genuine understanding and spiritual growth, revealing kingdom realities. Beyond the visible, there are dimensions of God waiting to be explored. In interacting with the dimensions of God, Apostle Oromo Sai guides us through these divine realms. Discover how to connect with God's presence in profound and life-changing ways. Experience the depth of God's love and power through worship and prayer. Unlock the mysteries of God's dimensions and transform your spiritual journey, leading you into deeper interactions with the divine. Oh, the Lord, they shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like the eagles. They shall walk and not faint. They shall run and not be weary. There is sufficiency in the spirit. The physical realm is a realm of lack, a realm of insufficiency, a realm of infirmity. That's why the Bible says that we are the circumcision. We worship God in spirit. We rejoice in Christ Jesus. And we have no confidence in the flesh. The flesh is measured. The flesh is limited. It's the source of our least potential. But in the spirit of God, we have access to our greatest potential we will not faint because he comes to give power to them that have faith and to them that have no might he increases strength that's why apostle paul could say i can do all things through christ the resources in the dimensions of god cannot be consumed by the onslaught of the devil so we take our journey we take our pilgrimage we take our journey to climb into the dimensions of the spirit For even the youth shall faint, the youth shall be weary, the young men, they shall totally fall. Vuvelia si kopambola, ruboko se, bamena hiko batwa, resko bela hiko pamo, rombe shabakata. Is Kobe Godes and Nico Paleta, is Osada, Lai Campo de Kede, Lisco Pego Bonda Baboco Sale, Abresco Bama Natalia, is Oseleto. We mount up. The answers are not on the ground. What you meet on the ground are serpents and scorpions. But if we have the advantage of flight to mount up, to mount up with wings to the heights of the heavenlies. Lemosi, Landebosi, Lakabosi, Eliasi, Kolinobosi, Labroko Pokotolia, Bilaba, Samiro Pesco, Lisa Sale, Koba Babala, Latodoko Potolia, Isko Pema. Lord, we cry to thee. Lanto, Omen and Isaac, like a passage. 
my Kambalatus, my Kambot de Balatua, Ebris, Balatus, Balamantale, Isopre, Aposkebo, Kampotabo, Apantala, the little of Gorga, Asuse, Abala. For the earth will be sustained by the heavens. Return, return, that we might look upon you. Sialoba, Pabebaila, Sondekedi, Adebokonte Baba, Lahasketo Bando Bokora, Embriya Mamada Dalalabas, Randa Lalalalabas, Ika Vendo Kobriya Ladakuske, Bamen and Sende, Iko Balima Sanda, Babraske, you can find an answer with the Holy Ghost for the Spirit searches all things. Even the deep things of God. Nigo Basila Nanamasa, Ebrete Babo. You will find insufficiency in the natural, but there's sufficiency in the supernatural. I take my journey. Can you take your journey in the Holy Ghost? Search! Search! Search, oh Holy Ghost! Tailobastika, rasketo pobogiani, seminete, bonge bakuta asalata, rahitabo, balabo, akabo, jenabo, langa basaka, atapala babosa, asesi, asahitabo, apresaye, apresko bala, apremantoko, apresinde, iskabela tode, apresasala, Oh, 
want cheese. Now we have received not the spirit of this world but the spirit which is of God that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. We have not received the spirit which is of this world but the spirit which is of God that we may know <laughs> Oh my, that we may know, that we may know. He gives you the Holy Ghost so that you will know that is spiritual knowledge that will equip you for destiny. Knowledge on how to combat the resistance that is arrayed against you. Knowledge on how to survive in the battle that you have fought since you were born. We have received a spirit. Can you pray today and say, Holy Ghost, make me wise. Holy Ghost, make me wise. There is a knowledge I need to know that will equip me for destiny. Cry to him right now. Make me know. Make me know. Cry. We have come, we have come to make supplication, 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 to make intercession. There is a knowledge, there is a knowledge, there is a knowledge that we must receive. There is a knowledge that we must receive. We have come, we have come to make intercession, to make supplication. Oh my God. Robe na shika bela kodehi. Robe mama na shuke bambola tua. Esko okote. Niga bais kantoma. Rekatile eze na gibo korea. Bahando saaba. Bagapakaya. Uskete we doko bi. Rakainto bagodo, Igo pesco papa natalia, Iscombe gasico, Pela cate coporo seda. So menae gomba, So menae gombescato. Thank you. Thank you. Zemino kope pabina shite Beras kompa boda Alaye kompezo Niko sato Beranasi Beranakampale Asketo be no kompeza Latwa Isko be matile Isese Ika presko fatwa Mahesa menana Mahesi kopraske do bono Papopoposia Rika pampa Ahasi Thank you, Lord. We give you praise. In the name of Jesus. Now I have clearance from the Lord to minister to the sick now. I have clearance from Jesus. He wants to heal the sick in our midst. He wants to heal. He wants to heal. Thank you. Thank you. We'll just do this for the next 12 minutes and I'll be out of your way. Now listen to me. If you are trusting God for healing on your eyes, for instance, lay your hands on your eyes. If there's a deafening condition you'll be contending with and you need healing on your ears put this finger in the ear that cannot hear 
and cover it completely if there's a pain on your body put your hand where the pain is now if there are symptoms of paralysis on any part of your body put your hand there there's a wound that has refused to heal touch it there's a migraine that has resulted from an accident that you had a pain in your bone a growth a tumor a cancer fibroid look for it and touch father in the name of jesus we give you praise we exalt your name we magnify you so I rebuke every deafening spirit. Deafening spirits be bound. I rebuke every blinding spirit. Blinding spirits be bound in Jesus name. I rebuke every pain. I command the pains to go in the name of Jesus. I stand against tumors, against growths, against cancers, against fibroids. Dry up, dry up from your roots in the name of Jesus Christ. Dry up from your roots in the name of Jesus Christ dry up from your roots dry up in the name of jesus i curse that fibroid i curse the cancer i command that tumor go in the name of jesus christ oh i see someone with pain on your neck now i command that pain on the neck to go in the name of jesus pain on the stomach uncontrollable pain I command it to go in the name of Jesus. I break the yoke of curses that were laid upon you. I break the yoke of witchcraft that you have carried all these years in the name of Jesus Christ. I command that yoke to be destroyed. I release you from that plague in the name of Jesus. And that one that is standing on behalf of his family or her family and saying, Lord, deliver, deliver us from from the drunken spirit in the name of Jesus I come against that spirit and I break the yoke over that family in the name of Jesus Christ father I give you glory father I give you praise father I exalt your great name in Jesus mighty name and so I speak to the eyes I say eyes see in the name of jesus i speak to the ears i say ears here in the name of jesus i speak to the pain i say pain go in the name of jesus i speak to the tumor dissolve in jesus name i speak to the cancer dry up in the name of jesus i speak to the growth dissolve in the name of jesus christ every sickness of darkness go 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 in the name of jesus thank you lord so the healing has started oh my god you are the lord that he led me you are the Lord, my healer. You sent your son, you sent your son, and he healed my disease. You are the Lord, you are the Lord, my healer. You are the Lord. You are the Lord that you let me. You are 
You sent your word, you sent your word, and it is that is it. You are the Lord, you are the Lord. I want you to conduct a check of your body, your eyes, your sight, the pain, the waist pain, because someone is, is healed on the waist check for the waist pain check for the tumor check for the growth check for the migraine and if you notice it's no longer there you come this way you come this way so you have two minutes to conduct your check if you notice there's a change you come here so this is the rule if nothing happens say nothing and if something happens don't keep quiet so pastor you arm yourself with a microphone please you are the lord that he led me you are the lord my when you find out when you conduct the check and you see that there is a change come to pastor even if you are in the overflow you can take the lift and come to this floor to testify. My healer, you are the Lord, you are the Lord. You are the Lord, you are the Lord. My healer. Sent your word and it is my disease. You are the Lord, my healer. One more time. You are the Lord. You are the Lord. That he let me. You are the Lord, my healer. You sent your word, you sent your word, and it healed my disease. You are the Lord, you are the Lord, my healer. You sent your word. You sent your word and it healed my disease. You are the Lord. All right, what happened there? Apostle, you made mention of a lady, I mean, rather of someone with a neck pain. Neck pain? Yes, he is, uh, has been having a neck pain for about three months on and off. And right now, as you made prayer, the pain is gone. Did you come with the pain into the service? You came with the pain into the service. And you checked your neck? That's my truth, actually. Oh, your truth? Yeah. And it's no longer there. Please come. Can we celebrate Jesus? I'll just... Lord, in the name of Jesus, we give you praise. And we call this miracle permanent in Jesus' name. All right, the hand of God is upon you. Also, a similar case of the neck. Similar About case. Three months as well. Three months as well. Gone. Father, we give you praise. We give you praise. We we'll name it permanent in Jesus' name. Neck case as well. Yes, yeah, so I'm looking for someone. There's someone that came with an eye condition that the Lord has healed. Someone that came with an eye condition someone that came with a waist pain a very terrific waist pain has been healed by the lord come lord we give you praise we give you glory we give you praise we thank you and we ask that you make it permanent oh my god the hand of god is upon you it's upon you
two people in the congregation and the Lord wants to give you a gift a spiritual gift and the reason why he wants to give you the gift is because of the warfare that has been arrayed against your life all these years and the next 21 seconds the hand of the Lord will be upon you anywhere you are sitting either in the main hall or in the overflow the hand of God will descend on these individuals the hand of god will descend on these individuals and so lord from my left hand side to my right hand side these ones that you want to equip for warfare you want to equip them for warfare i ask oh god that the empowerment might rest upon them that your grace might rest upon them in the name of jesus in the name of jesus that your hand of power, your hand of grace will come upon them in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I see heaven open. I see heaven open. I see heaven open. And the Lord has appointed today as a day of encounter for a few individuals the yoke shall be destroyed by reason of the anointing the yoke shall be destroyed by reason of the anointing the yoke shall be destroyed by reason of the anointing be glorified O son of god be glorified O jesus christ be glorified O god of gods and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing because of the anointing thank you in jesus name yes what happened to that lady apostle rita has had a high condition an eye condition yes but had you prayed she said she checked herself she can now see clearly did you run the test you could you could see i was struggling to see you from way behind where i was seated you were now. struggling to see me from where you were seated yes and then after the prayer you can see me now yes, somebody give jesus a big hand come a big hand lord in the name of jesus we thank you for this miracle we ask that you perfect it and glorify yourself in jesus mighty name oh my god oh my god yes what happened there you need um you may mention apostle of a, someone with excessive pain Unit have been with the fiber for years with excessive pain in the tummy. Excessive pain in her tummy? Yeah. Let, let's hear her. Yes? I came in pain. You came here in pain? I was in so much pain, I couldn't even settle. Oh, she couldn't settle because of the pain. Yes. So, what happened when we prayed? I'm not feeling pain. She can't feel the pain anymore. Come. Father, we give you praise, we give you glory, we give you glory. We ask that you make it permanent. Let the pain never return in the name of Jesus. You are the Lord that he led me. You are the Lord, my healer. You said your word, and he my disease. You are the Lord. The healing is not complete, so the healing anointed is still upon her. 
from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet is still passing through her body it's still so the healing is still in the process oh jesus christ there's a heavy release there's a heavy dose of that grace there's a heavy dose of that grace you sent your word and he my disease. You are the Lord. Oh, yes. I yes. Yes, so what happened to her? Since our teen's age, you came with that pain right in here. You came with the pain here. Yeah. So as we we're praying, the pain comes. So did you feel said, anything on your on your body before the pain left? What did you feel? Fire. You felt fire. Yeah. Okay. Can you just bring her somehow on the stage? Yeah. Sometimes the healing anointing it feels like fire. Sometimes. Sometimes. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. In the name of Jesus. We ask that you perfect this healing. Perfect it. Perfect it. Perfect it. Yes. The Lord has taken it away. He has taken it away. He has taken it away. He has taken it away. Taking it away. Taking it away completely. Yes, you can guide her to her seat. Oh my God. Ooh. So there is a yoke that the Lord is breaking. There is a yoke the Lord is breaking. The Lord is breaking a yoke. And this yoke was placed upon an individual in this auditorium. I cannot tell if it's this one or the overflow, but there's a yoke that is breaking. And the Lord is removing that yoke as I speak. He's removing it. It's a limitation. A limitation and affliction of witchcraft. And the, yoke, the Lord is removing it right now. He's removing it right now. He's removing it right now. He's removing it. He's removing it right now. Yes? Fiona had injury which caused the back pain. She had an injury. Yeah. How did you come about the injury? I got a back injury when I was beaten by a teacher when I was much younger, but it has caused me to have constant pain in my back. And for the past couple of months, I've been taking painkillers. And even today when I, I met my husband in the morning and um, he was buying me breakfast, I'm like, you know what, I'm in so much pain. Maybe I should go back home. When I go to work, I was in pain. I had that made up my mind tomorrow. I'm going to call them and tell them my back is paining. I'm not going to come to work. The pain has gone. The pain has gone. Come. Did you feel anything on your body before the pain left? I won't lie. I didn't feel anything. Okay, sometimes we don't feel it. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Now, so, the angel of the Lord is touching me on my right hand. Whenever he does that, it is because he's anointing someone in the auditorium. So there's an anointing coming on somebody. It's a terrific anointing. So there's a promotion, there's a shift. Yes? This lady had a chest pain. She came with the chest pain, but after prayer, the is it chest is pain? Yes, chest pain. Come. You had this chest pain for how long? It's been long since I was diagnosed with cancer. I finished my chemo and the chest pain has... You finished your chemo and the chest pain has been there? Yeah, it has been there as I'm waiting for surgery. Okay. Lord, we bind cancer. Demon of cancer, listen to me. Leave this body 
I command cancer to dry up from this body. Die. In the name of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. Yes? After birth, he got into a challenge which gave her back pain, pelvis pain, abdomen pain, and after prayers, all that is gone. Did you check? Come. My baby. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this miracle. Yeah, you are here. It's true. Go. Go and celebrate. So, it's evident that what was responsible for her pain is a demonic presence. Sometimes demons can masquerade and hide. Hallelujah. But she has received a touch from Jesus. Yes, what happened there? Abdom abdominal pain gone. Abdom abdominal pain gone. Come. We give you praise. It is permanent in Jesus' name. Yes. Similar case. Yes, come. Gone. It is permanent in the name of Jesus. Yes. Back pain. Back pain. Gone. Come. What is it? Come. You still feel pain on your body? So the yoke of the devil is being lifted? Oh my. Yes? Chest pain for 13 years after prayers gone. Chest pain come for 13 years gone. Father, we give you praise because the spell is broken. The spell is broken. You are released in Jesus' name. Four years abdominal pain gone. Four years abdominal pain gone. We give you praise, Lord. We thank you. In the name of Jesus. Yes, it's permanent. Yes? Sinuses. Sinuses. Now he can breathe. He, he can breathe. Come. Lord, we give you praise for releasing his breathing. In Jesus' name. Yes? West pain for months after prayers. Gone. West pain for months. Gone. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus name can you bring that lady back we are not done with her the weight must be removed please let her come see it was not yeah so it's, it's demonic in nature lose her lose her release her release her in the name of Jesus yes aha now she's free she's free now yes short-sightedness short-sightedness did you check it once. you couldn't read those words you can read them now yes. come we give you praise we give you glory in Jesus name yes headache for months headache for months Please. We give you praise and glory in the name of Jesus. Yes? West pain after prayers gone. West pain gone. It is permanent. In Jesus' name. Yes? Neck pain after prayers gone. Neck pain gone. Thank you, Jesus. It is permanent. You are Hello. Okay. All right, so someone is receiving the healing anointing. I feel it on my hand. So someone is receiving it. Um, in the next 21 seconds, we will know who it is. Because the healing anointing, it burns with a fire. There will be a fire. A fire will be kindled. 
the fire will be kindled. Lord, can you reveal who you are investing in by the sign of fire? By the sign of fire. By the sign of fire. Have you been touched by the message you just heard and you want to give your life to Jesus or you want to rededicate your life to Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Then say this short prayer. Lord, I admit I am a sinner. I need and want your forgiveness. I accept your death as the penalty for my sin and recognize that your mercy and grace is a gift you offer to me because of your great love, not based on anything I have done. Cleanse me and make me your child. Be faithy receive you into my heart as the Son of God and as Savior and Lord of my life. From now on, help me live for you, with you in control. In your precious name, Amen. Congratulations to you. If you have just said that prayer, you are now a child of God. Look around you for a Bible-believing church and also ask Jesus to direct you to the church where you can continue to serve Him. Consider subscribing to this channel too, so that you'll keep learning the realities of God's kingdom. God bless you.